much like with the HVAC, water comes in as a trunk line and, um, and then it branches off. Now, with the way this building is constructed and where things are laid out, uh, the trunk line is going to run right down this main partition wall. Okay, but it's going to run high. It's going to run up above in the ceiling. I think this has a concrete floor and we don't have cutouts for it and things like that. So we're going to run along this, this wall right here. And um, we're going to have drops down to the uh, water closet and the lavatory. We'll have drops down to the fill for the pool. We'll have drops down into the lavatory and the lavatory. Then we'll need to come along this wall for our uh, wet lab and probably up along this wall for some hose bibs just so that we've got the capability of washing down equipment or parts if we need to. So the main trunk is going to run, run right along here. Now, normally in a building, there's some sort of a civil underground mechanical contractor that digs in the pipes and brings them within a few feet of the building underground at whatever zone underground pipes are set at, four feet, six feet, eight feet, depending on what the civil engineer has done. So we're going to say that our uh, cold water piping is going to come in at an elevation of minus four feet from level one. And then right near the building, it's going to pop up and go up to about nine or 10 feet and then come in the building. And that's called a riser. And that riser sometimes has valves and things and flow meters on it. In our case, we're just going to come up as pipe. And then we're going to choose one side of the wall or the other. I'm going to choose this north side of the wall. And just next to it, at 10 feet or so, maybe 11 feet, we're going to run a pipe. Now, that pipe can be hooked to the wall if the wall is already there. Or it can be hung from the ceiling or the trusses with pipe hangers. And so I don't really care. We're not doing that part, although you have some details on it. We're just going to run that pipe right along here. And it's going to be our trunk line. And then we're going to stop it right here. Later on, if we have to turn a branch and move it, we'll do so. Put branches in, put drops in. But we're just going to run that nice big trunk right along there. Now, I don't really know about how much water we're going to need. You've done that calculation. I'm going to put in a two-inch pipe. I can change that pipe later on very, very easily in Revit. It's just a few clicks of a button. Uh, but it's easier to make the pipe get smaller than it is to get bigger um, because if I make it smaller, I've already taken up that space and and so I won't have to get into some other person's space, some HVAC or electrical. So I tend to make it fairly large. My experience tells me that I can probably get by with a two inch pipe. It might need to be three because of this big pool here, but I'm going to try it with a two inch pipe. So let's put that in. That's in um, systems again. Oh, and I need to tell you, remember to turn on your system viewer, system browser. And now we're going to change that electrical to piping. And let's look at our presets that we need. Under piping, I probably want to see fixture units if I can. That's probably what I need to know. So we'll put that on there and it'll show up later. So here we go. Systems, pipe. Now here's the most important thing. You need it to say domestic cold water. You have all these choices to make and you absolutely have to check it to make sure that you're putting in a cold water supply. 
Now I can put in my middle elevation, which I said was going to be minus 4 feet. And the size was going to be 2 inch. And I'm just going to use just a standard pipe. That'll be fine. So I'm going to run it in till it's somewhere near the wall. And then I'm going to change my middle elevation to 11 feet. And I'm just going to continue it right over to here. Enter. And I don't like it running right on top of the wall. Um, my wall has to be there. So I'm going to move this up a little bit so that it's next to the wall. And it doesn't have to be perfect. This is a schematic. This is a schematic that a plumber is going to use. So there's my branch. Now there's a few little parts of this that I need to show. One, this symbol right here means it's a riser. It's a piece of pipe that's going vertically. Over here, if I click on it, I should get something that says cap the open ends. And oh, it can't, can't find that cap right now. We'll put that cap on later. Okay, but that end is going to have to get capped eventually. And uh, there we go. I've, I've got my trunk line. That's the most important thing that I need to do after getting my view set up.